Hi, my name is Jay Phillips. I'm the Executive Director of Seed Sower Incorporated in Greenbrier County, West Virginia. Uh, Seed Sower provides safe and supervised housing, transportation, and recovery support services for adult women in active recovery from substance use disorder in West Virginia. We operate particularly in the uh, southern half of the state where residential beds for women in recovery are relatively few. Uh, we're a new organization. We received our 501c3 designation in March of 2020. Um, and I personally am relatively new to the recovery space, having resigned from my federal position to build Seed Sower earlier this year. Um, I cannot understate how profoundly grateful we are as an organization to have been able to work so closely with the Fletcher Group uh, over the last year. Um, I was fortunate to have attended some presentations given by Governor Fletcher at the National Alliance of Recovery Residences Best Practices Conference uh, last year. Uh, after one of his presentations, he offered to go into a breakout room where he would be available to answer any questions that we might have um, regarding his information on the Recovery Kentucky model. Uh, I immediately jumped at the chance because uh, I did have lots of questions and was dis surprised to discover that I was the only one in the breakout room when Governor Fletcher showed up. Uh, and I peppered that poor man with questions for the next 30 minutes, uh, everything from the Recovery Kentucky model to uh, funding opportunities and, and project and program development. And he was very gracious. He answered my questions uh, to the best of his ability, and then he put me in contact with Karen Coburn, the outreach and engagement specialist that um, I've had the privilege of working with for the last year. Uh, Karen is an absolute gem. Uh, our weekly meetings, uh, almost exactly to the day a year ago, uh, because the NAR 2021 Best Practices Summit begins later this week, so we've been working with Fletcher Group for uh, almost a full year. Uh, Karen has given me invaluable technical assistance and support over the past year, providing uh, comprehensive organizational resources that we've used to build a database of resources for our ecosystem development and for our residents to be able to take advantage of in their recovery journey. Um, she has helped me organize countless new initiatives, put me in contact with wonderful people uh, who are experts in their chosen fields. Uh, I've had the privilege to work with uh, Grant Meyer, the Vice President of Project Development, uh, Tony and Jennifer White, on our programmatic offerings. Uh, Dave and Janice have also uh, been just really great supporters and encouragers of the model that we're trying to build here in West Virginia. Um, and I just can't say enough about how much support we've received from them. Uh, as a result, in no small part thanks to the work that we've done with the Fletcher Group, we've been awarded numerous state and federal grants that has allowed us to build our capacity uh, larger than we ever thought imaginable in our first two years of operation. Uh, we're going to open with 11 beds later this month, expanding to 14 in the spring, and then hopefully by the end of 22, early 23, we'll have 25 uh, active residential beds for women in recovery for up to one year. We're also working to build um, more transitional style permanent supportive housing where the residents would be able to stay for a period of up to five years, also something that I've been working with the Fletcher Group to develop. Um, They've provided, I can't even list all the technical assistance opportunities they've provided us, such as grant reviews and uh, networking and programmatic um, technical assistance. I was able to meet with Tony, Jennifer, and Karen uh, in Lexington earlier this year and tour the Chrysalis House uh, in Lexington and the Genesis House in Grayson, um, which really just gave me real world on the ground experience of how the Recovery Kentucky model uh, works um, in real life and many of those elements of the Recovery Kentucky model we're going to be emulating here in West Virginia including using the Recovery Dynamics 12-step curriculum. We just received our facility licensure in Recovery Dynamics. I know that's a recovery curriculum heavily used by uh, the Fletcher Group's uh, Recovery Kentucky model in many facilities there in, in Kentucky. So um, as I said it, it cannot be understated. The invaluable technical assistance, programmatic development, uh, service delivery, uh, economic modeling, logic modeling, um, and recovery ecosystem development technical assistance that we received by the, by the Fletcher Group. Uh, if Seed Sower, uh, as we open, begins to have the impact on the recovery landscape that everyone seems to believe it will, 
it will be in no small part thanks to the work that the Fletcher Group has so graciously offered to us.